Hi folks, welcome back to Sabir Cat. I need just a minute of your valuable time to know what type of training you prefer to learn AutoCAD software. Number 1, offline that is completely classroom based. Number 2, online video tutorial based in which you learn with the help of pre-recorded video tutorials. Number 3, online but it is completely live training. Number 4, hybrid training which is basically a combination of online training and there will also be live classes now there are four choices please mark your valuable feedbacks at the community section of sabir kad youtube channel there is something exciting coming up very soon so stay tuned in this video i'll show you the best procedure to create this figure using autocad software so let's get started I'll start with these two circles. The diameters of these two circles are given as 14 and 28 respectively. So I'll click on circle command, center diameter option. I'll pick the center point of the first circle over here and the diameter as 14 units. I'll click on circle command again, center diameter option. Now I'm asked to specify the center point. I'll keep the cursor on the circle. The center is identified. Now I'll give the diameter as 28 units. Next I'll copy these two circles onto this location and the dimensions are given in the figure. And this distance is 76 and this is 63. So I'll click on copy command. I'll select these two circles. I'll pick the base point as the center. Now I'm asked to specify the second point. I'll define the second point using relative coordinate entry method. If you need more information on point plotting please click on the link provided at the upper right corner as well as at the description of this video so i'll give at the rate 76 as the distance in the x direction and 63 as the distance in the y direction give enter now these two circles are created next i'll create these two larger circles on the right side i'll plot the center point of the circle based on the center point of this particular circle which we have created first i'll click on center diameter option of circle command then i'll hold on the shift key and press the right button of the mouse and i'll choose from point option this option will let you locate a point based on any other existing point now i am asked to specify the base point i want to make this particular center as the base point now i am asked to specify the offset offset is the horizontal and the vertical distance of the center point of this larger circle based on the center point so you know that this horizontal distance is 76 plus 25 that is 101 and this vertical distance is 63 minus 53 which is 10 units so i'll give the offset as at the rate 101 comma 10 and enter now we have located this center Next I'll specify the diameter of the inner circle as 22 units. Then I'll draw one more circle using the center diameter option. Choose the same center point and the diameter as 45 units. Next I have to create this keyway on this location and this distance is given as 24 and the diameter of the circle is 22. From this it's clear that the width of the keyway is 2 units. So I'll draw a line from this quadrant point. Quadrant is not active in the OSNAP, so shift right click and choose quadrant and I'll pick this point as the start point. Then I'll turn the ortho mode on, keep the cursor in the rightward direction and I'll type a distance of 2 units. Give enter. The height of the keyway is given as 6 units. So I'll draw a line from here to straight up with the length of 6 units then i'll move this line with this midpoint as the base point and this end point as a second point next i'll draw one more line from here to here another one from here to here then i'll just trim off these areas 
to get a keyway. This one I'll erase. So that part is completed. Next, we have to create these arcs. For that, I'm going to make use of the power of TTR option of circle command. The rest is magic. So I'll click on circle command, TTR option. TTR stands for tangent tangent radius. I'll create this particular arc first. Now I'm asked to specify a point on the object for the first tangent of circle, which is this point. And the second point on the object for the second tangent is this point. The point where you pick is very important and the radius is given as 71. Give enter. The next circle I'll create using the same procedure, a repeat TTR circle option. This is the first circle and this is the second circle and the radius is given as 100. Again TTR. This is the first circle and the second circle and the radius is given as 40. Next I'll give trim command to get rid of the unwanted portions. So click on trim and you can just pick on these circles and you have completed the figure. Hope this tutorial was informative. In this tutorial, I have shared with you some drafting techniques with which you can save time and effort. You can find the download link to download this figure at the video description of this video. Just make a try and experience the difference. Until I catch you in Sabir Cat channel with another informative video. Bye bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time. Please hit the like button of this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Peace be upon you.